One of my biggest insecurities on my face is my double chin. Danny Star Beats. Hey career girls, welcome back to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'm so glad you're here as per usual. Today I wanted to do something super, super fun. I actually did some research on some of YouTube's and Pinterest's most popular videos and pictures to help disguise your double chin when you're using makeup. Today I'm gonna to be following a double chin hack, uh, how to contour a round face by Brianna Fox. I think this would be cool for us to see if some of these really, really, really popular videos on YouTube that are showing us how to do different things with our makeup is actually something that us career girls can do. And this video has over 2 million views. So it has to work, right? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start playing the video. Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to cream and powder, highlight and contour your face for a round, face shape. I feel like everybody contours and highlights the same way and that is just not how it should be because we all have a different face. This picture that you see here is a very popular picture. I'm sure that you have seen it everywhere and it is the most common way that people contour and highlight. So I definitely contour my face just like that picture. I think that that's, I've been doing it the wrong way. So I'm really interested to see what she's going to say we should do to hide our double chins. Uh, I also, if you noticed, if you notice, baby girl put on her blonde wig because Brianna has blonde hair. Now, I won't be doing any tuckage behind the ear because I have to lay baby hairs. I don't know if she does, but I have to lay baby hairs, so I have on a heat wrap, but you know, we, we, we gonna make it work. Today's I'm gonna be kind of sculpting out the cheeks and making it look very like, I had somebody tell me that this is how they contour a man's face shape and that it looks very masculine and that may be the case, but it is also the way that you can contour a round face shape. So I'm first gonna start off with a primer. I do have normal to oily skin. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. Okay, um, I do have a Smashbox primer, so I'm gonna start with that. This stuff is amazing because it really, really helps the oil control. And throughout the day, I notice I don't get as oily and I don't have to touch up as much. It's so far the best one I've ever tried. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so once that is on, I'm gonna go in with foundation. You know that that's Too Faced Born this way. This is my favorite foundation of all time. And I'm gonna start this off by just dotting this on the face. You do wanna do a light layer or you don't even have to go in with foundation because you're gonna be using a lot of other products too. But today, I'm gonna to go all out. I'm gonna show you full coverage, everything. I do like to use a beauty blender sponge to blend in my foundation. You could use a sponge, you could use your fingers, you could use, you know, whatever you like to use. Right. Next, I'm gonna go oh, in with some concealer. This Hold is on. the... <laughs> Let me finish blending that in. Okay. Let's see what's next. Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte. This is a very, very, very full coverage concealer. So I am gonna take it, wipe off some of the product, and then dot it under the eyes. And now, as you can see, this is a lot lighter because that foundation was a little bit too dark. I don't have sharp, sharp tape tape. I don't have Tarte Shape Tape, but I do have Clinique. One here, one here. Here. I'm gonna balance it out on the high points of the face so a little bit down the nose and on the tip of the nose the tip of the chin and just a little bit here on the forehead this is just to balance out the color if you had a concealer that matched your skin or was only one shade lighter you would not have to do this anything that you highlight it comes forward anything that you contour it pushes back and once I get a lot of the product pushed in and I've got some product still left over, I kind of carry that up under the side of the nose a little bit. This product right here. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighting Pen. This is in the shade number one. It is a lighter shade. I think they have three different shades. I'm gonna pause her really quick. I don't have the product that she's using, but I do have one of my favorite concealers and it's ColourPop's concealer in Dark 42. So I'm just gonna follow exactly what she's doing. 
but with the ColourPop concealer. Light, I'm gonna go right down the nose. I'm gonna make a V on the chin. Do the top of the lip just cause it makes it look bigger. And now we're gonna do here, make a vertical line and then one going right up on the bone like this. You don't wanna bring it too far into the cheek. And then again, vertical and then up here and it's going right on the top of the bone. If you want to help that even more, you could even bring this here just to help you with that whole illusion, the whole shape that we're basically trying to make. With a round face shape, we have roundness and just a lot of curves to the face and we want to create angles and more like whoosh, looking faces. So that's kind of the whole idea around this. So I'm going to start stippling this in and I'm not blending this around, I'm literally just pushing this into the face. Okay. 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 Don't blend it around, just push it into the face. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in and cream contour. So I'm gonna find the line that I want. I'm kind of looking down into my mirror so that I can create the angle already that I'm trying to achieve. I'm only gonna dot this. I'm gonna bring it down here and then here. And normally this is like the angle that you want, but now we wanna kind of curve it downwards and kind of go vertically. I don't think this is dark enough, hold on. <laughs> here. And now I'm also going to be I already messed up <laughs> She said by the ear so I started following my ear but it's up towards this part of the ear Okay so I had to go take those dots off that were right here but now I think that my line kind of looks like hers Her dots are like super perfect I don't mm -mm contouring the jawline because I want that to look really sharp and that kind of like you know makes it look skinnier so I'm gonna dot this area here you want to get right there that's an important line because that kind of like cuts it vertically there and makes that little like and then here we're doing the top of the ear like that and then downwards okay and now for the four okay girl If you have like a really big forehead that you want to contour, that's fine, go for it. But I've got, I think, a pretty normal size forehead. I don't think it's too big, I don't think it's too small, so I just do the sides here. So I'm gonna carry this here and just dot it. And then I'm gonna be carrying this lower in here, but not too far in the center. So what you're gonna do is just start blending on that line. And instead of blending upwards into the cheek, I'm actually blending it down into this area. I will go back in and clean up this area with some highlighting product too, but this is how you kind of want to start this off. I think if you blend it upwards into that area here, it tends to make my cheek look too round and too big and it's not doing exactly what I'm wanting it to do. I'm putting my chin up in the air so I can really get under there. And with this, I'm blending it downwards a little bit so that it kind of blends down my neck. For the forehead area, I'm just blending at the edge and bringing it in, but I'm not going past this here. Kind of just keeping it here on the edge. So I'm contouring the temples and the sides of the forehead, leaving the center of it blank. If you ever want to contour like your lip to make that look a little bit bigger, was Okay, so this is with her highlight and contour. Let's see what else she says. Put a little bit under the lip like this. And I just use my fingers for any small areas and just blend it in. You could use a brush, but. Use the fingers, girl. This is supposed to make my lip look bigger. Okay. She makes it look so easy, like she's so good. Okay, all right. Video in itself, do that, and then I use my finger for this as well. Okay, so this is what we have so far, you could- Okay, nose. 
And she said she uses her finger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I look like Rudolph. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, nose looks snatched, but dang. I don't want to be gone. <laughs> it's going to be looking like Michael Jackson leave it like this but I'm going to show you the steps that you can take to kind of emphasize it even more and really make it look so I'm going to go back into that magic lumi highlighter from L'Oreal and I'm going to just carve this out so I'm going to go right under where we made those lines just to okay <laughs> um so I lost my ColourPop concealer but I do have my NYX HD concealer in the color caramel so it's pretty much the same emphasize that area here and now I'm just gonna take that beauty blender and push that into the skin I'm not really blending this around I'm just pushing it in also go pause <laughs> seriously <laughs> all right what's next Go into this brush and have that kind of help you blend out the edges. So now I'm going to get into the powder portion. Of Hold on. <sighs> okay. Okay. Others. I'm going to use this powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm in the shade 2, and I love using this with the number 7 brush from It Cosmetics. Okay, powder is on. Let's see what's next. And then underneath the eyes, I love this powder from MAC. It's the Emphasized Shaping Powder. You can buy it online. I'm just going to use this brush from Real Techniques to apply it. It's a setting brush. It's a really great under eye powder because it makes it so that nothing creases, but it also really brightens. So I'm going to go in. I like to do the bronzer first because when you layer products like that, it just helps with dimension. It helps it to look really natural instead of just going straight into your contour powder and like really harsh. This kind of gives that like middle tone. Shade. Didn't we just do contour? I look crazy. Like this is as, this is as good as it can get. I'm going to go right over where we contoured, which is right in here. Kind of feather that around. Make sure you kind of actually work it into your hairline because you don't want there to be like a... a Girl, wear a wig. Ain't no working into the hairline. I'm going to lift my lace up. Guys. A line of separation in between. And when you have blonde hair, thankfully I've got my roots in, but... When it's like freshly blonde, it's kind of a pain in the ass because then I end up coloring my hair. I'm keeping this here on the sides of the forehead. Cut and kind of clean it up. I am gonna do some baking. I'm actually not a huge fan of baking. I feel like it's just a lot. But with this new technique that I've been doing, it has really helped me kind of clean it up and really make it more defined and more like the shape that I want. So I'm pretty much just highlight this under area here. Gonna go right. She didn't even blow it off. And then go here. I'm making a trapezoid. Kind of like that shape. Do that. Say you did your makeup before you do your hair. You could go and do your hair. You know, whatever you have to do. Just let it sit for like 10 minutes. It's going to help brighten minutes. up that area. I'm going to go do my eyes and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and finished my under eye area. Hold on. Hold on, kid though. She said 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Like... No. <laughs> okay, I can't do ten minutes. I can do five. It's been five minutes. It's good enough. As you can see, it's like extremely bright under there now. You can kind of go back in with a brush and you know blend the edge, just so there's not like a white line either. You don't want like any like harsh. Well, too harsh of a line. I'm gonna go in with peaches from Mac for my blush. Pause. Oh. 
Okay. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but let's continue. And I bring it up like this. I'm gonna okay. highlight right on the cheekbone, very angled. And I think that's it. I think that's all. As you can see, I did not do the rest of my face. I really just wanted to learn how to do this contouring trick uh, for round and oval faces. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I haven't stepped outside. It's very dramatic. Uh, I do feel like my cheekbones are snatched in. My face does feel a little bit smaller. I just don't know how I feel about, you know, my blending, I think I could have blended a little bit more, used a different brush maybe, used one shade lighter in my contour color because it's really, really, really dark. Um, darker than I would have ever done. Her contour to skin color was very different, so I wanted to try and mimic that. Um, but yeah, I think Brianna is a professional. I am not a professional, but it's super fun to look at these videos and try and follow them. I mean, that's what YouTube is for, right? I'm good at some things, some things I'm not. So thank you guys for tuning in to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'll see you on the next episode.